Now, this is interesting. I just got an email. Check the email during the break. Rush, I love you, man, but you're totally missing this. Debbie Blabbermouth Schultz won that. How many times did she say Ryan shreds Medicare? Over and over. And these idiots that live in this country are going to hear that, and they're going to believe it. You're getting all excited, Rush. You think the truth carries the day, and it doesn't. Propaganda wins every time it's tried. And she doesn't matter whether she knows what she's talking about or not. She just went out there. Propagandists are natural-born liars. Anyway, the last thing they care about is the truth. All she wanted was voucher program, $6,300. You're out of luck. You're out of Medicare. Shred Medicare. You're dead. Republicans care. And she got that out. Doesn't matter what Wolf said. Now, I'm summarizing the email. Uh, Now, first, nobody heard it on CNN, because literally nobody's watching CNN, so now a lot of people have heard it. And the people in this audience who've heard it, truth matters to them. But it is an interesting pregunta. Propaganda versus truth, which wins? Well, what what was Hitler more concerned with? Propaganda. Did Hitler succeed for a time? Yeah, he did. What was Clinton more concerned with, truth or propaganda? What's Obama more concerned with, truth or pro- propaganda? Who would you say is winning? Is propaganda winning or truth winning? We, the virtuous ones in our society, we think truth wins. We have this investment in the truth. We think it's holy. We think that it is profound, and we think it's persuasive. I play you three minutes of Wolf Blitzer cleaning Debbie's clock. And I get an email, no, no, Rush, you, uh, she, Ryan Shreds Medicare was said, I don't know how many times. That's what people are going to hear because the fear will always trump the good. Because people react to fear. Okay, then we're, we're sunk. How do you fight propaganda? Uh, you got to turn into a propagandist yourself. And you got to abandon the truth. Some of us don't know how to do that. Not believably, not consistently. Let's grab uh, Irene here, Southern California. Go to the phones. Irene, thanks for calling. Great to have you here. Hi, Rush. I love you. Thank you for the great service that you're doing to our country. Well, for our country. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Um, On the uh, uh, Ryan uh, Medicare issue, it's what they're not getting out there very well. I've heard it. But what needs to be uh, out there is that the under 55 and the either keep Medicare or use the voucher is the same program that the Washington federal employees get. Why would it be important to have that out there? What does that matter? Well, because I there was such an uproar years ago uh, before this Obamacare was enacted that people wanted the same program that Washington got, and that's what... Paul Ryan is delivering. You think that's a good way to sell this? By the way, if you're in Medicare, if you're under 55, you're going to be able to choose the same program federal workers have. I think so, because I think that I think that was a big concern among, amongst younger people. Why can't we have the same program you have? Uh, I never. Well, I never thought that. I don't want anything to do with the federal government. So, but you may have a point. Uh, you may have a point. I... I don't know if it sells or not. I'm too caught up in the truth. And I don't know that that's actually correct. But I'm going to find out. I'm going to look into it. I've never heard it characterized that way.